Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. My name is Slither Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in this episode, we're going to be picking up right where we left off, making our way towards the heart of Dragon's or Dragons of Drake's Tail. So let's see what lies in store. All right. It is this way, yeah? Okay. So we might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. you made with the Emperor. Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! <gasps> Answer him! We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you! <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. <sighs> you sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! Weak. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it, the shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Damn. What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. And there he is. Joshua! Wake up! I 
I'm a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Oh yeah, it is go time. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. This will be interesting. Well, all right then. Sure, that's not terrifying at all. Oddly beautiful, too. Got some help. Yeah, what is Spitfire? So it's, oh, it's our other, you know, R2 triangle. Nice. Da, 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 da. To aim, press X anytime to cancel. Extended exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggered, canceling any initiated abilities. Oh! Ooh. Come on. 
That was open for. Mega player. Giga Flare. No! Brother! Oh, so we get to play as Joshua now. Okay. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't. It's been a while since we've done this. Okay, so L to fu L to move, aim, triangle to hold it to charge, and R one to evade. Using L while holding circle to lock onto multiple targets. Please to okay, and all abilities. Okay. Oh, come on, seriously. This is a little, uh, little janky.
trying to get out of it. There we go. we have time on it. Ooh, there we go. I did not realize it was counting down. That was almost really bad. done yet. Oh. 
nice. We got through this. Nice. There we go. That was cool. There we go. No, no sword upgrade material yet. That means we're not done here. He's going to become uh, unbound or whatever whatever happened to Titan. Same thing's going to happen here. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. for that one. So we went Super Saiyan. Sorry, I had to say it. Oh, we merged. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool.
Ifrit Risen. I like it. Okay, yeah, let's see. Embodiment, embodying Ifrit Risen, enhanced versions of most of the abilities are available. Uh, in, in addition to Wildfire, it also has the access to ability of Light Speed, which, similar to Phoenix Shift, allows for swift approach. It can be ex executed by doing X. Cool. Awesome. How can we hope to match such power? By trusting in our own. Take a player, nice. Just don't look good.
that took that took almost a lot of damage. Getting turned around here. Say they stopped my damage there. <sighs> he's not down, I say he's not down yet. This Zeta Flare. Oh, what the? It is Zeta Flare. Holy crap! This. We got this. Nice. So, Bahamut has reached the levels of Donald Duck. <laughs> Very cool. But that was much more impressive. Yeah, much more impressive. Man, now that, that was a fun fight. There it is. There's our light shard. That'll be used to create a new sword. Whew. There's the mother crystal. There's Dion. Something, yeah, something's wrong. Something was done to him. We it has to be right. So all that's left. 
is an ash. That was pretty cool. So sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. I never dared hope that I would see this day. Yeah, I thought so. This is for my father. Yeah, no normal child would disintegrate like that. Clutches him, touches him though. Yep, there it is. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Dali, man, go! Your radiance. And I want you to find out the By the light! So this is what happened. Dion, okay. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands.
I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! No, I don't think they will. Every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire? Of its rulers? Of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build, Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Yeah, no real surprise there. doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. So now we know. Not again. Brother? It's a long story. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Get away from me! This is all just a dream! 
dream! Just a bad dream! You will not take me, Shadow! You will not take me! Mother. I admit. I was not expecting that death for her. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. What? By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. She's dead. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Ugh. Creepy. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork. Of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you, find Muthos and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos. 
and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. That's creepy. That is so very creepy. Whew. Well, a lot happened. <laughs> that is a lot happening. So, uh, before we wrap up, we are going to head back to the hideaway. Um, so, let's just go ahead and head back to the hideaway. Yeah, finish up this little sequence before uh, before we get back to it, or before we wrap up. Oh, that's Dion up there, right? Or it's either Dion or. How is your brother? Yeah. So yeah. Asleep. Joshua. Since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. I don't like the sound of that. So now we have the power of light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 yeah, usual stuff. So Bahamut's iconic feet, wings of light, uh, to begin casting Mega Flare. Oh, okay. Interesting. And an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready. Taking damage will cancel the spell. That's not that's not bad, but it means you're completely inactive for a little bit of time. Like if you really want to max it out, you have to be inactive for a long time. I mean, sure you can attack while it's going and it's continuous damage to everything around you. So maybe that's, that might not be bad for a boss fight. You know, when you're trying to deal a lot of stun damage. If I disturb Joshua. But still. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Whew, there's a lot, a lot of stuff. But before that, let's go ahead and show it unlocking. Look at these other abilities that they show. So like they said, wings of light to start charging a uh, mega flare this is impulse that's pretty cool a nice little oh it's good for stun damage okay and it's good for at range flare breath that's hmm that's not all that all that helpful 
<laughs> excuse me satellite creates a okay summon multiple light aspected familiars that attack an enemy on on which Clive uses magic okay okay so yeah the, so it's essentially doubling your attack but it deals mostly stun damage <laughs> or a little bit more than doubling and it is only when you use magic not melee if you notice there okay and then we have giga flare which i do believe will eventually be in our uh, in our um ending ending kit just because look at that it has max damage not great stagger but it's really good to use against a fully staggered foe it just has one of the longest pretty sure it has one of the longest cooldowns of any of our abilities so yeah <laughs> we may not actually use bahamut as one of our three but we'll definitely be mastering giga flare eventually to use in our uh you know our set but anyway i do believe we are going to wrap things up right here in the next episode well the next couple of episodes i believe are going to be side quests and notorious marks just because we went through we just went through a lot we just went through a lot and there are a lot of side quests that need doing so we're going to be doing that it's going to help us level up we're going to be getting more interesting items from our increased renown and it'll give us some time i don't know to yeah, build up some more um, ability points to work into uh to work into uh bahamut so that'll be so that like i said that'll be probably our next couple of episodes it just depends on how long it's going to take so so that is the plan <laughs> yeah that is the plan so like i said we're going to wrap it up here if you enjoyed this episode which i sincerely hope you did please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted and do not forget to let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.